Hey everyone, Mr. McIntosh here. An Open Core Legacy Patch 150 has been out for a week now, and most users have installed it, upgraded, it, and it's working very well. But there has been some reports from previous operating system users like macOS Ventura, macOS Monterey, that are having problems with the 150 root patching system. They're getting the air system version PLS build mismatch, the version of macOS Sonoma, which is 23F79, and then the latest version of macOS Ventura, 22G720. Now, what's actually happening here and causing the issue the problem here is is that automatic update downloads is enabled on these systems by default and what's happening is is that in the background the macOS Sonoma upgrade is downloading but not just downloading it's actually staging and preparing your system and modifying it for the upgrade and this is the problem that's happening so in this video I'm gonna walk you through how to disable automatic download updates in the operating system immediately you have to do this now because what's happening is that you're not going to be able to patch your system and even if you try to boot to macOS recovery with a Ventura latest version of Ventura installer or recovery you're not going to be able to install over the top to repair the system because it's going to tell you that you can't downgrade because it already has detected that the system is modified by the snow upgrade saying you're on a newer version so you are in a really tough situation and I'm going to show you how to revert your system that's already modified back to a normal running Ventura system. So first of all, let's show you how to disable automatic updates. This is in extremely important. So what we need to do is in system settings for macOS Ventura and macOS Sonoma, we need to go into general and then we need to go into software update and then we need to click this little information icon right here. And this is, this is the automatic update section. It doesn't even look like you can click this. It's not even a button, right? It's almost like Apple doesn't really even want you to even go in here and it wants the default settings to remain. But you have to click on this here. You have to know you gotta be able to click on that. And this is the section that you have to turn off right now. Go in there right now and turn this off. Now, you're still gonna be able to check for updates. So you will be notified when a new update comes up and you'll get the little red icon. But it's not going to download Sonoma. It's also not gonna download and stage the current version of Mac OS Ventura or Monterey and prepare that anymore. But the thing is, it's even more confusing. If you are on 13.6.6, and this was on, you're fine because it's actually going to download the security update 1367 first, and then you're fine. It's gonna prepare it, everything's great. But if you're on the latest version, now all you have available is a Snow upgrade and it's gonna download and prepare and you're gonna be in this bad situation. Turn this off, then you're done and you're protected. This is a default setting, and when you install the operating system, it's automatically turned on. And unfortunately, the patcher can't help in this situation because of the fact that Apple has blocked the ability for the software update binary to be able to block upgrades anymore. The only way to block upgrades like Sonoma is to have an MDM or mobile device management server install a profile that blocks the upgrade. Turn this off, and now for macOS Monterey to turn this off, all I need to do is go into the advanced section here, and then make sure this is unchecked download new updates when available. If that's on, just uncheck that and hit okay. And that turns it off for Monterey and then for Ventura and Sonoma, just radio check mark this button off and then click on done. Now you're prepared and you're safe on your system. You'll still again see these updates like this, but now you won't be in this situation for macOS Sonoma being staged in the background. Now that we have that out of the way, you're protected, but wonder if you already had this downloaded. And the problem is you don't even know this is happening. This is showing you here that Sonoma is like there. And you think, well, if I click this upgrade now, it'll just like download and then I can install it anywhere. Nope. This system right here is already in a broken state. And I showed you that with the, with the patcher right here, how we showed that it was the system mismatch. So we are in a modified state. So what's an additional way that you can tell if you're in this state? Well, obviously with the Open Core Legacy Patch version mismatch error, you can that's that's step one that you can see the Sonoma build version versus the Ventura version, that's immediate tip off, you're in trouble. The next way to do that is to open up your terminal app and you can run the command diskutil APFS list capital S snapshots forward slash. And what we're looking for here is this guy right here. This is the update snapshot that is prepared on this system that is ready to do the upgrade. And it's already modified and it's just basically standing by 
but what is also preventing the system from running the root patches. And again, that's the protection mechanism. Now, what do we got to do? How do we get that to turn off? Apple does not give you a way to say, no, I don't want to do the update now or cancel the upgrade. It's staged and ready to go. If I click this button now, this system will immediately go to the progress bar and now you're stuck. Maybe you didn't want to go to Sonoma. You wanted to remain on Ventura. You're stuck now. And there's no guarantee that's even going to work properly because remember the developers have said, if you want to do the upgrade, you should do it with the USB installer of Mac OS Sonoma in recovery. So that's why we don't want to do that. If we want to be able to revert back, we have to actually force this system to revert this snapshot and delete this snapshot back. But there's no way to do that either. I can go in here and I can remove this snapshot but it still takes up space in the system. And if I reboot the system, it's gonna prepare and ready that upgrade again. If I go into where the update is downloaded, which is actually system, library, assets v2, Mac OS software update, this is the Sonoma upgrade right here. This is the file and the folder and all the associated files inside here, 6.82 or 6.28 gigabytes worth of a Delta upgrade. Now, if I delete this, and restart that's still going to cause a problem because it's already staged in the snapshot and ready to go so it'll automatically apply the update so to the way to fix this it is a two-pronged approach we are going to remove this because if i even if i cancel the upgrade if th and this is still here then the upgrade is still thinking that it's ready to go and it'll try to install it again we have to delete these files so when it comes back up it thinks that the upgrade's not there but we also have to actually kick off the upgrade and fail it on purpose because then the system will then think, oh shoot, something went wrong. We have to revert back to the Ventura snapshot the way it was before we, we prepared it with the Mac OS Sonoma snapshot. There's two snapshots there, the previous one with Ventura and then the modified one that we have to get rid of. So here's how we're gonna do it. And remember, I need to make this very clear. So stop right here. Make sure you, before you even go forward, this is all experimental. This is not recommended by the developers. This is something that I'm trying to come up with something for you to be able to rescue your system. This is an at your risk only. You need to make sure that you back up all your data before you even perform this action. I've tested this multiple times on this system, but I don't want something to go wrong in your particular setup. See these, all these files, I got stuff on this system and I've tested it multiple times on two different systems. I want to make sure you have all your data backed up just in case something goes wrong. As long as you're backed up here and you're set to go and you have a USB installer that you can boot to if you need to and something goes wrong, then you can go forward. So now that that's out of the way, now what we need to do is delete these files. Now keep in mind, on a normal Mac system, that's not a open core legacy patch or patch system, these update files are SIP protected and they cannot be deleted. Remember, Open Core Legacy Patcher has to disable certain parts of SIP. Other parts are enabled, but these particular files can be deleted. Right click on these and we need to be able to move to the trash. And then we'll enter in our password. And then we need to yeah, empty the trash. Now those are empty. Now we have to actually kick off the upgrade. And all we need to do is click restart or in software update, we need to click upgrade now. And what we're going to do is right here, get ready. We're going to power it off. As soon as we get to the progress bar, which I see right now, I'm holding down power until the system turns off. You got to hold it down for at least five seconds. Now the system is off. Now wait about five seconds. Now what we just did, and it seems so crazy, right? But it's the only way to, that we know of right now to be able to revert that system back. So now that we've failed the upgrade forcefully, we're going to power it back on. Now we've got the Apple logo and it's going to boot right back up to the operating system. And we will see that the system is smart enough to realize that that upgrade failed. And it's also doing a cleanup right now during its boot process. Putting back up, almost at the login screen now. And there it is. So let's log back in. And we, we're going to get this message because we force power it down. So we're going to click on cancel. And look at that. It's gone in here. And if we go back into terminal and we're going to run that disk utility command, we should see that snapshot. And that's why it's okay to do this here because this XML file is automatically regenerated. One software update checks for updates again. Disk util, APFS, list, capital S, snapshot, forward slash. And look at that. It's gone. That upgrade snapshot is no longer there. It's no longer taking space in disk utility too. You'll, there was a big chunk of it 
that was being used that is now gone. And you can actually verify this too by booting back to macOS recovery and trying to reinstall over the top. It will no longer give you the downgraded message. And when we go back into software update again, you can see that this file will regenerate if it didn't already. It will check for updates again and it will show the Sonoma upgrade and it will, it will basically say it's, that it's ready to download again. And there it is. And that's what makes it even more confusing. It doesn't give you a download button. It just says upgrade now on the download and on the installation, reboot to installation. So there it is. These two files regenerated, but the assets folder that was six gigabytes is now, is now gone. This system is now repaired and back into play. Now we're gonna prove it by opening up OpenCore Legacy Patcher, and then we're gonna root patch this system. Start root patching. And there we go, look at that. That sanity check that is there to protect your system has now passed that check because the system is no longer modified by Mac OS Sonoma and back on Mac OS Ventura. And we are on a fully repaired fixed system. Now, don't get me wrong, what a crazy situation this is, right? At least we have a way. And I wanted to thank Macola for going over this process with me because we talked about this. We tried to figure out what the heck can we do? And he was explaining some of the parts of of the snapshot system and how the system is modified and the, the problem that you're in. He, with him showing me how that system was working and the problem, we didn't have anything that we could do. Then Dina K jumped in and said, well, wait a minute, if it's downloading the upgrade, you can hit cancel and then it'll remove all those files. But if it already downloaded and staged, that was the problem. Most people were not gonna be in the situation where they could catch that, download and stop it before it fully downloaded and staged. So that's when I jumped in to try to figure out a way to do this. And with all the collaboration that we did, this is at least a base scenario that can get you back into the, into the system. So let's reboot this Mac and we will be on 1.5.0 root patches. All right, we're back up, let's log in. And our system for Mac OS Ventura is back in business. If you have any questions on this process, please let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to give you a hand. If you were in this situation and, and you tried this and it worked for you, please let me know. How did the process go? Did it go exactly like it went on this screen? I can sit here and talk about how many times I tested this process to try to figure this out for hours, but hey, we all got to get to sleep someday, right? So let me know in the comments if this helped you and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.